For the next step, we'll need the X carriage that we assembled previously, as well as two linear rods. Firstly, we'll take the rods and we will assemble them through the linear bearings of the X carriage. Make sure the rods are clean before you insert them into the linear bearings. Now we will assemble these assemblies to the ends of the, the linear rods. The linear rods needs to go in there, that it looks like that. And then we will tighten the, the screws that we only hand tightened previously. The function of these screws is to clamp the, the linear rods and hold them in place. When you are done with that, the assembly should look like this, with the linear rods clamped into the, the end. So next we'll do exactly the same with this side. We will clamp this, the linear rods into this end. When you are done with that, this assembly should look like that. And the X carriage should be able to move freely on the, the linear rails. Finally, we can tighten the M4 screw that holds the bearing. The purpose of this is not to, to clamp it down, but you can just tighten it so that the, the, the screw cannot rattle anymore. Now finally we will take the GT2 belt, we'll loop it around the bearing, take it back through the, the X carriage, take it through this end that it come out there at the end. When you've done that, the assembly will look like this. And if you pull on the end of the, of the GT2 belt, the X carriage will move. Make sure that the belt can move freely and is not obstructed, obstructed by any screws. Next we will mount the X motor. That's the motor with the cables which is one meter long. What we'll also need is the M3 by 10 screws and four M3 washers. So we'll mount the stepper motor onto this side with the cables facing inwards and we will bolt the motor down with the four screws and the four washers. Once we've done that it will look like this. Make sure the motor is on the right hand side of the, the slots that's provided for it. For the next step, we'll need the GT2 pulley and also a cable tie. What we will do is we'll put the GT2 pulley on the stepper motor, make sure that the grub screws are on the side away from the, the stepper motor. Then we'll wrap the belt around the pulley, we'll feed it through the center of the of these plates and it will fix to this screw that is still that's shown there. Once you've done that, secure it with a cable tie and cut off the end. The belt will not be tightened at this stage. We'll, we'll tighten it once we have it on the, on the frame of the printer. For the last step of the Z carriage, what you'll need is the extruder that you assembled previously, the two M5 threaded rods and also the two of the linear rods. So we'll mount the extruder to the uh, to the X carriage with the M4 screws that that's provided. When you are done with that and the extruder is nicely secured, 
you can insert the threaded rods into the the brackets provided you can just screw them in until about halfway through when you are done with that your assembly should look something like this so the final step is to insert the linear rods again make sure your rods are clean and there's no sharp edges where you insert them Now you can place the set carriage to the side for later use.